This is a video on how to send a marketing email using Infusionsoft to our full email list. So you're going to click on um, Infusionsoft and then you're going to click on the login button over here. Um, you'll have your email address and password or it's stored in the um, accounts and passwords document in the CrossFit and Sino uh, overall folders. So in here you're going to go to uh, the top navigation bar here has an email and broadcast option, you're going to click send a broadcast. Once you arrive at this page, you're going to click the blue get started pit button, and that's going to take you to your main hub. Um, here, we're going to use the previously sent option. So at the top here, you have another navigation pane. We're not going to use the gallery, we're going to go to previously sent. And the reason we want to do that is we, we use a formatted email that has no images, no stuff that might get caught by spam filters. So we want to go to previously sent and just continue using old versions of emails as drafts. Um, so we're going to go to this version here, which was stop punishing yourself was previously sent February 11th. We're going to use as a draft and it's going to create a copy of it. It just automatically creates a duplicate. Um, it's already formatted, right? So there's a, just really simple navigation. At the top here, you have a details button at this bar here. That's important to click. That will allow you to change the email address that the email comes from change the recipient list, change the subject line, and change the preview text. So in order, we're going to keep the email to coming from info at left off strength. For recipient list, we're going to go up here. I have a saved list called full. If you click full or type full, it will auto-populate the full database for daily emails. And you click that, it will automatically populate the whole list of anyone who we want to receive that email. You're going to change the subject line. Subject line A, whatever you want it to be. For now, we're going to leave the preview text because what we'll do is once we write the email, we'll take the first three lines of it, copy it, and then paste it into the preview text. That will give people the ability to see what the start of the email looks like. And then we'll pop that bar up so we can revisit it later. And then in this, well, this is a text box. We're, again, we're not making any changes because we don't want stuff to get caught by spam filters. So we're going to go in here and we're just going to take the text that we want. If we're taking it from a Word document, we're going to paste the text in here and format it. The formatting should be simple one to two sentence paragraphs with spaces between them so that it's spread out like this. We don't want big paragraphs like this. That would be, people won't read that. It's actually, um, we just get people scraping through these emails and, and deleting them. But if you, if you space it out like this, people can read it much more manageably. So take the time to space it out, put your content in here, and then when you're done, make sure to take the three lines, copy them, go back to the details bar and paste them in here. And then to finish this off, you're going to go up to test and you're going to test the email to yourself. You're going to type in Andrew or Eric or whatever the email address is, ericamzalog at gmail.com. It's going to allow you to click this button and then you're going to hit the send button and it's going to send a test email to you. You're going to keep this window open. Go check the email in your inbox. Make sure it looks the way you want it. And then when you're ready, you're going to go to review and send and you're going to go and schedule it out for between 6 and 7 a.m. the next day. So today is the 13th of February. We're going to schedule it for the 14th at 6 o'clock a.m. There's a whole bunch of people it won't go to you because they are on the opt-out list or the bounce list, and that's fine. And then you hit schedule, and then this will go through.